Flight following is one of those things that sometimes gets glossed over during training. VFR radar services are included in the Private Pilot ACS, so if you're preparing for your check ride, make sure your instructor's covered this. Hopefully you'll be using it on all your VFR cross-country flights. Flight following requires either a Mode C or a Mode S transponder. These have the ability to report your altitude to ATC. Since they are going to be tracking your flight on radar, they need to know both your altitude and where you are over the surface. Remember the flight following is available from ATC on a workload permitting basis. They're happy to provide this service, but if they're too busy, they may tell you they are unable. We've already got Atlanta Approach dialed into the radio here, so we're going to give them a call, tell them who we are, where we are, including our altitude, and see if we can pick up flight following to Chattanooga. Atlanta Approach, Skylane 42742, VFR Advisories. Number 42742, standby one. 42742. Cessna 42742, go ahead with your request. Uh, 42742, we're nine miles northwest of Peace Treaty Cab, 4,300, climbing 4,500. Might get flight following to Charlie Hotel Alpha. Cessna 742, roger, stand by for the squawk code, the Atlanta Altimeter 3010. 3010, and we'll stand by for the squawk, 42742. Department 264, Delta, climb and maintain 5,000, contact approach 124.2. Cirrus 9, Tango Whiskey, radar contact, 2 northwest of Gwinnett County. All right, he's working some traffic. We're waiting for him to get back with that squawk code. Uh, suggest to maintain VFR at or below 2,400. You'll be going right under the finals for Atlanta Hartsfield. Okay, 2,400 uh, or below. That's now 42742, squawk 5274, ident. 5274, and ident for 42742. So here's our squawk code. We got it right here in the transponder. That's, That's what he's going to be looking for. 42 radar contact about 15 miles northwest of the Cab Peach Tree. 42742. Number 04 Alpha, tell you what, turn left heading 280. All right, he's busy. We're going to turn the radio down here a little bit. The controller responded with the phrase radar contact. So he's got us in the system now. We're on our way to Chattanooga, and he's going to be following us. As you saw, picking up flight following is a pretty simple procedure. You call the local ATC frequency on the radio, give them your call sign and your location, and your request for flight following to some destination. They respond with a four-digit squawk code for your transponder. Once they see that on the radar, they confirm that you are in the system by saying the words radar contact. While en route to your destination, you will probably fly through multiple ATC sectors. When this happens, the controller will give you a new frequency for the new sector controller. This is called the handoff. You're being handed off from one controller to a new controller. All you have to do is change to the new frequency, call the new controller, and provide your call sign and your altitude. The new controller will respond with a new altimeter setting, and you just continue motoring along. Flight following is a really useful service that ATC provides to VFR pilots. The main function is to provide an extra set of eyes to watch for traffic in your proximity. Now there is a little caveat here. They will attempt to let you know about traffic, but this isn't 100% foolproof. The controller may be busy and fail to inform you of nearby traffic, so he's there to help, but you still have to keep eyes outside and watch for other aircraft. The ultimate responsibility to see and avoid remains with you. Okay, let's get back to that trip we started with and take it from the beginning. Here's how it works. Here we see our aircraft leaving PDK in the complex airspace on Atlanta's north side. We depart the airport's Class D to the north-northwest before making our first call to Atlanta approach to request flight following. Safely outside the Class Delta, we make our initial call to let them know we have a request for VFR services. When the controller answers, we'll give our full request. Atlanta Approach, Skyline 42742, VFR Advisories. Skyline 42742, Atlanta Approach, go ahead with your request. 42742, nine miles north of the Cab Peace Tree at 4,500. Request flight following to Charlie Hotel Alpha. 42742, Squawk 3217. 3217, Squawk 42742. In a few moments, the controller lets us know that he has us on radar. We must get this radar contact acknowledgement to confirm that we are on flight following. Skyline 42742, 
Radar contact 10 miles north of Papa Delta Kilo. Remain clear of the class Bravo and report any altitude changes. 42742, Wilco. Now, further down the road, we're leaving the ATC sector we've been flying in. Essentially, we're about to fly off of one controller's radar screen onto another. The controller calls us up with instructions to contact the next controller. This is called the handoff. Skylane 42742, contact Atlanta Center on 125.2. 125.2 for 42742, so long. We check in with the new controller by merely reciting our call sign and our altitude. He's expecting us. Atlanta Center, 42742, 4500. Skyline 42742, good afternoon. Atlanta altimeter is 30.11. 42742. As we continue along our route, the controller may give us traffic alerts. We must respond to these with either a negative contact or traffic in sight. When we get within 30 or 35 miles of our destination, we need to listen to the current weather report. We may be able to pick it up on our second radio while we continue to listen on the ATC frequency, or we can ask the controller to let us leave the frequency long enough to get the weather. Getting closer to our destination, we get handed off to the final ATC en route facility. In this case, it's Chattanooga Approach. November 42742, contact Chattanooga Approach on 125.1. Good day. 125.1, Skylane 42742, so long. This time, when we check in, we'll let the controller know that we have the current ATIS broadcast. Chattanooga Approach, 42742 at 4500 with Tango. Skyline 42742, Chattanooga. Begin your VFR descent at your discretion. Report the airport. VFR descent, report the airport. 42742. We continue inbound, looking for the airport in the distance. When we're sure we see it, we make the call to report it. Chattanooga Approach, 42742 has the airport. Roger, 42742. Remain on that beacon code and contact Chattanooga Tower at 118.3. 42742, going to tower. From there on in, we're talking to the tower, and it's just like any other landing. Okay, guys, thanks for coming along with us today on this trip to Chattanooga, where we discuss the basics of flight following. If you want to learn more about flight following, as well as cross-country flight planning and navigation, visit the Internet's number one ranked online ground school at Gold Seal. We're looking forward to seeing you there at groundschool.com. Pass your written test and your check ride with Gold Seal, the Internet's number one ground school. Take a free test drive today and see how much fun learning to fly can be at onlinegroundschool.com.